Rachel Holt for Nesson.com here with Lindsay Rhodes of NFL Network. Lindsay, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. What's been the funnest part of the week so far for you? You have a unique perspective where you're working, you're talking to everyone. So mm -hmm. for, are you having any fun too? Oh, I'm having a blast. Uh, I luckily just do a one hour show every day. So I'm kind of locked into that one time slot. So I actually have a little bit more time to kind of make my way around all of this and see people and check in with people. It's like a big high school reunion. Everybody in the industry kind of converges on one city for a week and it's a, uh, you know, you can't go five feet without seeing somebody that you either worked with a long time ago or a player that you have been covering forever but you've never met and get a chance to kind of put a face to, uh, well, I mean, you already know their face, but you know what I mean? Like, meet them in person, create a personal contact, and so it's a, it's a fun week like that. It's fun for everyone. We've been talking to some draft prospects, and they're seeing guys like Drew oh, Brees really? around, and the excitement level you can feel with everyone. Now, I want to ask you about the storylines, because, of course, everyone's looking for those storylines for the <laughs> Super Bowl, and t in talking to some people, they're actually surprised there haven't been many big storylines to come out of this week. Do you get that? Yeah, the, well, there aren't any major injuries that we're tracking, right, outside of the Falcon center Alex Mack and then Dwight Freeney. Oh, he's got, like, a calf injury, but it's not that big of a deal. Usually there's, like, one major guy that we're following around his ankle all week long or something like that. So we don't have anything like that. So it just be, kind of becomes the fact that the Falcons are this uh, new team that's young and they're clicking on all cylinders, offensively speaking, and, and how exciting all of that is. And I think people are really excited about the freshness mm -hmm. of a team that hasn't been here before. Well, they've been here before, but a really long time ago uh, that, you know, so there are all these new storylines to attach yourself to. And then the Patriots, it's kind of the same story that we've repeated for years and years and years and kind of falls into the Brady Belichick legacy question, right? And everybody's scratching their heads annually about how they're able to be so consistently good all the time. Right, we got this team like the Falcons going up against a powerhouse team like the Patriots. Mm -hmm. Any predictions on how this game is going to go? I, I'm hearing a lot of Falcons predictions this week. Wow, okay. And I think that there's a part of me that wonders if that just isn't people kind of wanting it to be the Falcons because the Patriots have been at the top for so long and people in the league talking to players on other teams. I wonder if some of that isn't a component of them just really like wanting there to be proof that somebody can knock them off That's and change the storyline. I think that there is an element of the Patriots have been so good for so long that we're sort of overlooking the myriad ways in which they're so good right now. Like, that's not an interesting subject because they're just doing exactly what they've done for so many years, so we're not talking about it as much. We've been hearing Patriots all week long, but oh, I think really? that's because we're in New England, so maybe people just that's, want... <laughs> people come want, in, they're like, uh, Patriots, uh, our viewers. yes. Yes, I think we might get a little bit of that <laughs> going so on. Funny. But, you know, very interesting to see how things shake up. You'll be here all week talking about it. Where can we find you next on air? Yep, at 7 Eastern uh, weekdays on NFL Total Access, and then I'll do uh, a little bit of game day morning for NFL network on game day. Very busy. Well, good luck and we'll be looking out for you. Thank you so much.